What's up guys? We're out here in Pittsburgh today and we're about to check out the McLaughlin Distillery. And we're going on a distillery tour and tasting. I'm here with Dorothy and Jenny. Well, let's go check it out. You could age your own here by just getting the age at home kit, bring it home and age it on your own. Wow. Is it good? This is awesome. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah, rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> Which one is this? The Gucci Gucci. Mm. This is really good. That was good. Okay. What was the flavor? It's like a lemon, a lemon tea. Okay. Yeah. Try to. Yeah. I guarantee you, you're gonna love this. Yeah. Oh. Right? Yeah. yeah. For me, like sister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Taste of the. Make a good margarita. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pokey pokey, pineapple lime. Those each one time, so they have really strong corn liquor flavor. Our white whiskey selectly distilled twice, so it has a little less of that corn liquor flavor than the moonshines, but more than our vodkas. We do run this guy through a used bourbon barrel for a day. It is a whiskey at that point. And as you're going to notice, it's not going to pick up any of that color. It won't age in there long enough. Our vodkas, the reason we have two is because the Swidley vodka is the one in the state store, meaning we have to sell it for the same price here. So to get around that, we made our handmade vodka. And we can use this as a loss leader, bring people in, try our stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is 90 proof, this is 80 proof. They're both distilled seven times, so they're very smooth. Thank you, great. We make for the wine lovers. Uh, root beer, uh, pickle, peach, cranberry, orange we make with a small hint of vanilla, so it's a little bit like a creamsicle. Lemonade, pink lemonade, this will be the sweeter of the two. Ruby red grapefruit. Pokey Pokey is a pineapple lime. That's our most popular during the summertime. Apple and pumpkin pie, we serve them up warm with a little whipped cream and cinnamon sugar on top. Jim's jungle juice, that's a mango. Our loco double chocolate, we make it with dark chocolate, so essentially you're drinking a melted Hershey's bar. Coochie Coochie is a tea and lemon, so if you like Arnie Palmer's, you'll like this guy. Sexy Mama C does a strawberry peach. And finally, our coffee moonshine, we like to tell people, is also for at home, not just for work. <laughs> uh, we do cold brew the coffee inside the moonshine, so don't worry, it's not bitter at all. It's going to be a blend of a medium and a dark roast. So that's a little bit of everything. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh so you guys, uh, you guys see the trickle coming off the top still up there, coming out of the pipe. Uh, that's coming out of about 187 proof right now. Um, if you've never had the opportunity to drink moonshine right out of the still before, this is going to be your opportunity there, Red Bear. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't need a whole lot, a couple little drops, you know, to cover the bottom of the cup, um, unless you're a badass. <laughs> Grab a cup, walk around, right step, come back down, do a little bit else. Taste it. Everything you guys taste it out there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that one goes like this. Yeah. Go that one all the way. 
Yeah, yeah I don't want to smell that one. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Really, Jermaine? He told you to take a few drops. You guys should see your faces, sorry. Condenser on the back side, that condenser turns that hot vapor back into a liquid and then it comes out as moonshine. Or as the government likes to call it, neutral grain spirits. <laughs> he was a dairy farmer for 23 years in upstate New York. Ended up selling that business. Landed in Western PA with the gas well boom about 10, 11 years ago. Was working in that industry and uh, always had the dream of opening his own distillery. So he grew up around bourbon and moonshine. His parents and grandparents both made it. So that's kind of where he had the basic knowledge. He found this place. Uh, he started working on it while he was working in the, in the oil field. Uh, he and his son spent about 10 months uh, cleaning this place out. It was actually a residence. It took about 14 tons of garbage out of here. Uh, stripped it down to the studs, put a new roof on it, kind of got it to, to where it is now. It's better than the. Oh, definitely better yeah. That's it for our trip here to the McLaughlin Distillery. So we just tried it and it was pretty awesome. We did a tour and tasting. We even got a few of the moonshine and vodka that they have to offer. It's pretty impressive, guys. I definitely recommend stopping by the McLaughlin Distillery here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Assistants were very courteous to us. It was a great experience. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>